And this week we've got a game to play to get you started. It's called Naughty Nicky and Thoughtful Tilly. And so you need a bit of space for this one. Um, you need, um, we're going to do running or walking from one side of the room to the other, or you could do it in the garden and go from one side of the garden to the other. But you need a bit of space. Uh, you need to decide one side of the room is going to be Naughty Nicky and the other side of the room is going to be Thoughtful Tilly. So let's get started. Start off in the middle and decide which thing you think is right for each of our little um, stories. So the first one is someone puts an empty drink carton in the bin. Now, do you think that was Naughty Nicky or Thoughtful Tilly? So this side is Naughty Nicky and this side is Thoughtful Tilly. Which one is it? So someone puts an empty drink carton in the bin. It's Thoughtful Tilly. Well done. Okay, back to the middle. Next one. Somebody breaks a glass and hides it in the bin. And when her mum asks for the truth, she owns up. Now, which do you think is it, it is? Naughty Nicky or Thoughtful Tilly? Have a think and decide. Well, if you're not sure, you could do a bit of both. Now, I think it was... Now, when she hid the glass in the bin, she probably should have told her mum rather than hiding the glass, shouldn't she? So she was a bit naughty. But then, when she told, owned up and told her mum what had happened, then she was thoughtful Tilly. Okay, well done. Next one. A rainbow misses a meeting because she isn't well and her rainbow friend who lives nearby takes home a colouring in sheet for her. What do you think? Naughty Nicky or Thoughtful Tilly? Off you go. I think it was Thoughtful Tilly, wasn't it? It's nice to be kind to our rainbow friends. Okay, next one. A friend breaks your favourite toy and doesn't say sorry. Naughty Nicky or Thoughtful Tilly? We all know the answer to this, don't we? Yes. Naughty Nicky, that's not very kind, is it? It's not being a good friend. But it was probably an accident. Okay, next one. There is only one pair of scissors on your table at Rainbows. But one of the Rainbows won't share them. What do you think? Naughty Nicky or Thoughtful Tilly? Yeah, not very kind to your rainbow friends, is it? Naughty Nicky. It's nice to share things. Okay. Next one. Mum isn't feeling well, so a rainbow tidies her bedroom and plays with her little brother. What do you think? Naughty Nicky or Thoughtful Tilly? I think that was very thoughtful, wasn't it? It was very kind the rainbow to help her mum and to look after her brother. Okay, next one. It's time to go to bed and a rainbow doesn't want to clean her teeth. Oh dear, what do you think? Naughty Nicky or Thoughtful Tilly? I'm going to go with Naughty Nicky because it's important to look after our teeth, isn't it? Very important, yes. Okay, next one. A rainbow goes for a walk with her friend and drops her litter on the way and doesn't pick it up. What do you think? Naughty Nicky or Thoughtful Tilly? We all know this one as well, don't we? Yes, it is not good to drop litter. It's not good for the environment. Somebody has to tidy it up, so it's making a mess. So, Naughty Nicky, we mustn't do that. We need to take, what do we do with our litter? Take it home in a pocket. Or put it in a bin. That's right. Next one. A rainbow makes a card for her grandmother's birthday. What do you think? Naughty Nicky or Thoughtful Tilly? Yeah, I think it was a very thoughtful rainbow. I'm sure her grandmother loved to get a card, didn't she? Okay. Last one. Okay. Uh, two rainbows won't let another rainbow join in with a game. What do you think? Naughty Nicky or Thoughtful Tilly? 
Yes, naughty Nicky, that wasn't very nice, was it? Uh, we like to know, think that everybody at Rainbows is, is a friend and gets to join in. Okay, maybe you can make up some of your own ideas with your brother or sister and come up with some of your some ideas of your own for Naughty Nicky and for Thoughtful Tilly. Um, but we're, I, I'm pretty sure that most of you are going to be Thoughtful Tilly. All right, let's get on with our next activity. So our next activity is in the workshop and we're going to learn how to uh, change the batteries in a small toy or a small electrical item. So what you're going to need for this are some batteries. Now maybe your mums and dads can find some, we usually have some around the house and they're in all different shapes and sizes. So it's just, I've got some really big ones, some medium sized ones, some small ones and some really tiny ones. Can you see these little tiny round ones? even smaller than a penny. Lots of little ones and some slightly bigger ones. So, um, all different types of electrical things need different shaped batteries. So you'll need the right size for the toy or the item that you're going to put the batteries into. Let's have a closer look at a battery. Can you see there's a little plus on this end of the battery? And it doesn't say, but there's a minus on the other end. And this means the battery needs to go in with the plus end and the minus end the right way around. So if you're, um, you're putting it into an electrical thing, item, um, it will have a sign on the cover showing you which way around the batteries need to go. So make sure that you put the plus end at the plus end and the minus end at the minus end. And then it will fit. If you put them in the other way around, it won't work. We've also got here some different shapes and sizes of screwdrivers. So hopefully you can find some around the house. Your parents can help you. I've got some out of our toolbox. And if you look carefully at the screwdrivers, they always have different shapes and sizes at the end. And that will fit different shapes and sizes of screws. So first of all, let's remember to stay safe. So if you're carrying a screwdriver or a tool, make sure you don't point it outwards, you point it down. Keep them in a safe place on the table. Make sure you've got plenty of space to work. Now, I've got a little toy here. It's got no batteries in at the moment because I took them out earlier. Now, to change the battery, there is normally uh, a, a little cover on the back or underneath and you need to have a close look and see whether it's got a screw in it and this one has a little tiny screw there and first of all make sure that the toy is turned off and then have a look and see if you can find a screwdriver that matches your toy's little tiny screw so I'm going to try this one and see if that works Let's open this cover now, the end of the screwdriver goes into the middle of the screw. I just felt it click in there and I'm going to turn it anti-clockwise. There we go, turning, turning, turning. Now I can see that the screw is coming out. I did pick one that fits the right, the screw. You might find if yours doesn't fit very well, maybe you try, could try a larger one or a smaller one or one with a different shaped head. Now, can you see the screw is coming out? I'm still turning, 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 turning. Now, you need to be careful when you're doing this kind of thing that you don't lose the screw because it might suddenly fall out. And when you're taking the cover off the battery compartment, you don't want to lose the screw, otherwise you won't be able to put it back on again. Oops! Be very careful with your other fingers. I just slipped and that could have hurt my finger if I wasn't careful. Right, there we go, it's come all the way off. Ah, now, once you've got, a, got the back of the battery compartment off, you should be able to see what kind of batteries you need. 
Now I can see I need little tiny ones and it will tell you on, on the information what type you need. Now batteries always have to go in the right way around. So look for the little symbols to make sure that you're putting them in the right way around. So the ones that fit, I think are these little tiny ones here. So I'm just gonna pop them in. Fit. And then we will put the back of the toy back on. Now we don't have very many um, electronic toys in our house, but I expect you've probably got a few. So see if there's one that mum and dad will let you have a go at um, taking the batteries out and putting them back in again. And uh, you might need a bit of help with, with it, so make sure there's an adult around while you're doing it. Right, I am now popping the battery cover back on and turning the screw the other way. This time I'm turning it clockwise to tighten it up. And it's going in further and further. And it'll keep going until it's really quite tight. So I can feel it now, it's stopped moving. Okay, there we are. Now, let's see if I put them in right. Shall we see if it makes a noise? Ah, oh, it does. Plays lots of nice tunes. It's all right, you can be quiet now, Bobby. Well done. So, I hope that you can manage to change the batteries on your toy. And hopefully you've got some batteries around the house. I think some of ours probably don't work anymore. So, um, I managed to find some that do for him. Our last activity is a newspaper cat. Now, uh, you don't need to use a printout. I've drawn some shapes for the cat's body parts on this um, sheet, which I'll send around for your parents to print if they like to. But if you want to make up your own animal, that's absolutely fine, or your own cat. Uh, what we've got, so what we've got here is the cat's ears, head, and body and some feet and these are the eyes and the tail and the nose so i've got here a newspaper and a magazine uh, you could use wrapping paper or any colored paper or um, scrap paper that you've got so what i'm going to do is choose some uh, some colored pages and words that i like the look of and cut out the pieces and then use them as templates to uh, cut pages out of the newspaper. So I'm going to do some ears first. There we go. See which colour. I'm going to have this nice blue bit here. Okay, so with a pen or a pencil, draw around. And then cut out the shape. Doesn't matter if it's a bit messy because this is a sort of a messy look collage. Okay, so that's one of my ears. That's red as well. This turquoise colour here, so I might be using that for the cat's head. Well, actually, that might be nice for the cat's size. So there's quite a bit of cutting out needed for this. Here. This looks good. 
like so they don't have to be straight you could make your cat dancing or wriggling or standing up or lying down some little red manga so that they're different colours. Okay, and there we go, my newspaper rubbish cat. Now, I uh, bet you can have a go and make yours a lot prettier than mine. Okay, so hopefully next time we'll be able to have our tea party. So be thinking and busy um, doing your best to uh, come up with some ideas, either for decorating your table uh, maybe making a cake or some biscuits and making either a cup of tea or a glass of squash and um, I'm sure your mums and dads will help you with those things so that um, we can all meet together uh, for a virtual rainbows and share a tea party together and also we'll have a chance to do some news and maybe play a game or two so make sure you're, you uh, have lots of ideas of uh, news to tell or things that you want to show so like a, a show and tell time at rainbows we'll do it on a virtual meeting so looking forward to seeing you all next time and that's it for this week uh, make sure you show send me some pictures of what you've been making if you make a cat or even if you've done some um, some activities with a screwdriver and um, putting in the batteries and the toy show me a picture of what you did all right, so bye-bye, rainbows. See you next time.